Well, it's been an incredible experience. Uh, a number of years ago, one of the members of the church, Arthur, introduced me to T.L. Osborne. I'd never heard the name, and he kept saying T.L., T.L., and I read um, The Good Life and um, the number of the books he gave me, and then one day he said, Harold, his daughter wrote a book called God's Big Picture, and he gave me a copy. I read the book, and being a teacher, I said, wow. This is the best book on the gospel I've ever read. It is so simple, it's concise. And I said, when I was in college, that there was a professor, and um, the professor said to the students, I want you to always remember the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. And this book is so simple. Anyway, I, I called up the ministry, and I spoke to Billy Montooth, and I said, I'd like to order 20 books. So I ordered 20 books, and the next thing you know, about a week or two later, I said, where did all the books go? Mm. So I called Billy again, I said, Billy, what do I do now? I said, I ordered 20 books and they're gone. She said to me, Harold, why don't you buy a box of books? I said, Billy, how many books in a box? She said, 86. I said, Billy, what am I gonna do with 86 books? She started to laugh in a beautiful voice and said, you'll see. And then she said, for a box of books, if you order a box, it'd be a little less expensive. And coming from a Jewish background, I said, I a bargain. So I ordered the box of books, and all of a sudden, day after day, without trying to give them away, God provided opportunities that I could give the books to people. And for example, I'd be on a line at the grocery store, and uh, I'd walk up to uh, the cashier, and all of a sudden, I felt the word in my heart to say, are you in school? Boy, you'd make a wonderful nurse. And um, the cashier would say, how'd you know that I want to be a nurse? And you know how we always say, you know, we point up, we smile, we say, you know, God, you know, we introduce it. And then I would say something like, do you like to read? And they say, yeah. And I would give them a God's big picture. And that began to happen day after day after day. And I could see that God was working in his personality in me, you know, with a word about a person's life than a book. And so therefore the book meant something more to them. And um, it just became a really exciting experience. Uh, amazing what God has done with this book. Uh, there are times when God will say, as I'm walking in a parking lot, ask that person if they're an avid reader. And there have been so many times that God has used that book and uh, where I started ordering box after box, and I think I'm up to like 10 or 11 boxes of books, and I don't even know where they've all gone. <laughs> all I can say is, God has worked through the Osborne ministry. God's Big Picture is an amazing book, an amazing tool, and once somebody asked me to describe, how do I see God's Big Picture? And all of a sudden, I saw David with the stones in his, in his hand. Mm. And th those are the stones that, God will give you stones to use, to bring down the giant. And God has given me God's big picture as part of my walk with him and more of my relating to the world. And I'm so blessed, and God's big picture has been such a blessing. Thank you. Amen.